Warning, Say It is a Rated M podcast and is not suitable for all ages. This series contains foul language and sensitive topics. Viewer discretion is advised. After spending the weekend with Maya, I had a lot on my mind. The fear of losing my best friend was hard to deal with. I can't imagine not having her in my life. I just felt so stressed out with everything going on. I didn't know how much more I could handle. Oh great. The biggest headache of all, Ren. We had looked at one another and I was just going to ignore him and walk away. But he stopped me in my tracks. Max. What? I just needed to tell you something, jeez. I was so mad at him, I couldn't even maintain eye contact with him. Are you ignoring me? All I was gonna say was I got Mr. Kingston to let us redo the project. I didn't even say anything to him. I just walked away. Thank goodness I saw Alex walking to school. Hey, Alex. Oh! Uh, hey, Max. Jean hasn't been bothering you anymore, has she? No, she stopped, thankfully. But it's just kinda hard to forget what she did. I see. I'm honestly just ignoring her and keeping my distance. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Um, I know this is weird, but would it be okay if we walked to school together? Uh, sure. I don't mind. We should hang out sometime. If you wanted. Really? Yeah, why not? Uh, sure. Okay, well, see you around. Yeah, see ya. I didn't know much about Alex, but she has always seemed so nice. I know she's a bit quiet and doesn't usually socialize much, but maybe we'll become friends. I know nowadays it's hard to make friends. I don't normally open myself to people, but I'm willing to try. Miss Grace, how are things? Oh, uh, Mr. Kingston, things are okay. Were you able to patch things up with your friend? No, not yet. Well, hopefully you'll be able to mend the friendship and you can both move on from it. Class is about to start. Don't be late. Mr. Kingston was able to give Jane the courage to fix things and work on herself. Before class had started, she decided to spike a conversation with Maya and I. Hey, you guys. The silence from us both was very loud. Are you guys still mad? What do you think, Jane? Come on, you guys. I've been mad for too long. Let's not be over dramatic. Jane, just stop. If you're looking for forgiveness, it's not from us. Okay, class. Let's begin for today. To start things off, I decided to allow Mr. Mayor and Miss Lore to finish their project. Now let this be a lesson to everyone. I will not be making exceptions after this. All right, you two. Come on up here. I was so nervous. I felt my throat closing up. 
My heart was racing, and it felt like a hundred degrees in the room. All these people staring at us. I hate presentations. <clears throat> well, uh, w what I learned about Ren is that he can be very selfish. He has a tendency to push people away and leave them high and dry. He's cold and harsh like the snowstorm that comes in winter. He prefers to be a loner and keep his walls strong and high. <sighs> okay then, how do I begin with Maxine? We used to know each other when we were little, and we were very good friends. But now, she's an obnoxious princess who is daddy's little girl. She's overdramatic and she sticks her nose in other people's business. However, past all her flaws, she still reminds me of the little girl I used to know. Yeah, like I'm the obnoxious one. You're so full of yourself. At least I can let things go. You won't let anything go. You are so desperate. And for what, Maxine? To be friends? I already told you I don't care. Yeah, I'm starting to see that now. Alright, I'm not gonna entertain this. I don't tolerate this in my class. You both have after-school detention. I was so furious. I grabbed my bag and I stormed out of the classroom. And I headed to the girls' bathroom. As I was having a meltdown, Maya was searching for me. Hey, Savannah! Have you seen Maxine by any chance? No, sorry, I haven't. Is everything okay? Yeah, um, don't worry about it. Um, since we are talking, um, has Farrah left you alone at all? I mean, it's only been a few days. So far, nothing. Good. If she says anything or bothers you, please don't hesitate to come get me. Thanks. Oh! Hi, Brock. Hey! Have you seen Maxine at all? I think I saw her head toward the bathrooms. Thanks. You want to get lunch later? Of course. I'll bring her favorite juice. Sounds good. I'll make sure to get extra fries. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Maxine? Are you in here? Maxine, I know you're in the stall. I can see your feet. Cheater. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm just so mad. I can't believe you made such a big scene in there. Well, you did kind of start it. Maya, you're supposed to be on my side. I am on your side. But that doesn't mean I agree with what you did. Now come on, let's go to our next class. Do we have to? Yes. Yes, we do. Ugh. Read the paragraphs below on your worksheet. Answer the following questions for each paragraph. One, is there a topic sentence? What is it? Two, does the paragraph have unity? In other words, do all the sentences support the topic sentence? And three, does it have a concluding sentence? Make sure to take your time figuring out your answers, and if you have questions, please feel free to ask me after class. I couldn't focus in my class. I just ended up staring outside the window thinking of what I said to Ren. I feel like I should apologize. But I'm so furious at him, I just don't want to. If I keep this up, I'm going to fail all my classes. I need a clear head.
Maya. Uh, hey. What's up? Hey, I came to give you some of the homework that we were assigned. I saw you haven't been to school in a bit. Is everything okay? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, also, um, there's an English test tomorrow, so you might want to study for that if you, uh, end up coming, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be there tomorrow. Um, do you maybe want to study together? Like right now? I mean, yeah. Un unless you're busy. Sure, I don't have anything going on. <laughs> I don't know how much help I'll be, but I could try. Here we are. Detention. I never thought I'd end up here. I've always been such a good student. I already know my dad's going to give me crap when I get home. I pray he doesn't ground me. <sighs> what? Huh? Uh, nothing. Do you still make up those stories? What stories? You know, the stories used to write and act out like they were movies. Not really. I merely just write about my day. Oh, that's boring. Yeah, my life's boring, says the guy who has no friends. I have friends. Friend. Singular. <laughs> Hey! Careful, I could get a paper cut. <laughs> Why did we stop being friends? Clearly we can have a civil conversation. Let that go, Max. He turned his head away from me, and the atmosphere completely changed. I can't help but want to know what happened. I feel like I deserve that much. At least an answer. Okay guys, detention is over. Going outside before the late bus drives off. The other students were heading out, as they all seemed relieved that detention was over. Ren? He avoided me, yet again. I can't puzzle it together. I just want my old friend back. We got on the bus and he sat by himself with his backpack on the other end of the seat, so no one could sit with him. I sat on the other side of the bus. I was scared to go home to my dad. I knew he was going to yell at me. I tried hard not to cry on the bus, but I couldn't help it. I hated the thought of disappointing my father. There was another student on the bus. He noticed I was crying. He seemed to be on the sports team for the school. His letterman jacket had a J on it. I felt embarrassed that he was looking at me, but he smiled at me. He then put a light jacket that he got out of his backpack and put it over my head to cover my face. I felt my cheeks getting warm, and he went back to his seat and didn't say anything to me. His jacket was warm, and the scent was like being in a forest. I noticed that Ren had watched the encounter with me and Jay. He looked away and put his earbuds in his ears. Maybe I just need to move on.
Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't realize the time. Oh, you're right. My grandmother will have a heart attack if I don't come home. Do you want me to walk you home? Sure. He walked me to my front porch. I was so nervous I didn't know what to do or say. What should I say? I completely forgot how to say words. You okay? Yeah. Uh, I was just going to ask if you were ready for the test now. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. I'll probably still feel it, though. Hey, you get better grades than I do, so shut it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to ask you. Would you maybe want to grab lunch this weekend or something? Oh, uh... Maya, dinner's ready. Come eat before it gets cold. Sorry, I have to go, or she's gonna bust a hip trying to get me inside. Oh, right, of course. I'll talk to you tomorrow, then. Good night, Oliver. Good night. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding. Why did I freeze? My face is so warm. Oh my gosh, wait. Did he just ask me out? I wonder if she has the same feelings as I do. Did I make a mistake? Where have you been? Dad, listen, uh... I, I was... Uh... In detention? Detention? Why am I just hearing about this now? I'm so sorry, I made a scene in class with Ren and... Ren? This again, Maxine, I, I thought you let this go. Dad, I can't, I... This isn't healthy, Maxine. You have to get past this, sweetie. But... Can't you see what's happening? You've been lacking sleep, missing shifts, and getting detention. Maxine, this isn't you. My dad was right. I had completely invested myself in a deep hole where I knew I may never see the light at the end of the tunnel. I had to pull myself out. Or I may suffocate. I was scared to go to sleep. I didn't want to dream about him again. They feel too real. And I can never forget them. I just want to forget. Thanks for watching the Say It Podcast. More episodes coming soon.